Hello, hello, my holiday challenge. Ladies, welcome to the bonus video. I should say my love manifesting challenge, ladies. So this is a bonus video on getting ready to manifest that man in, which isn't that what we're doing? Yes. But as I said in one of the challenge emails, I'm not just gonna share with you the manifesting tools because that would not be doing my entire job. Although some people do try and teach that all you have to do is do a vision board or blah, blah, blah and he'll come in and in case you haven't noticed that doesn't really work um the manifesting tools are great but it's also about being ready it's also about aligning yourself it's also about clearing everything that's in the way so that's what i want to talk about in this video in particular because i've been around the block i've coached hundreds of women i've taught thousands of women. I've spoken on the phone personally with thousands of women about their love lives. And um, what I can tell you is this, there's a big difference between saying I'm ready to manifest. There's a big difference between trying to manifest your man and then actually bringing him in. So as we're going through this challenge, I'm sharing some exercises to help you manifest him in for sure. But I also want to share this concept of readiness. So I did include a link below to the ready for the one videos. If you haven't seen those, check them out now. But I want to share something that I shared in, I wrote a post this morning for my get and keep your man ladies. There's a live version that started, you know, the beginning of the year. So we're going through the year. By the way, for those of you guys who don't know, I put an email out earlier this year and I kind of alerted people to the fact that I wouldn't be teaching Get and Keep Your Man um, like live anymore next year. So that is happening. Um, just in case anybody is like uh, wondering about that, I got some emails like, are you gonna be doing the program live next year? And my answer is yes, but I won't be doing the Q&A in that program. Anyway, that's besides the point for right now. But I was, you know, currently I am in the Get and Keep Your Man group. And so I made a, a post to my ladies uh, because I was meditating this morning and I was uh, journaling this morning and I was thinking about some goals that I had, some things that I wanted to manifest in my life, some things that felt like big goals and they've been things I've been working on for a while. Like to me, it feels like really big manifestations. Maybe like manifesting your man to you feels like a really big manifestation. And so there are some things that I've been wanting for a while that haven't manifested yet or I've been working on them. And if any of you know me or follow me, I talk about instant manifestation a lot. I'm a person who manifests amazing things, incredible things. For the most part, life works for me. I mean, I have a million stories. Um, some of you who have, the ones that do have my Get and Keep Your Man modules, you guys know some of my manifesting stories. Um, so for the most part, a lot of things that I want manifest because I know how to work these tools. But there are some things that feel like it takes like longer or there are some bigger, I'm putting bigger in quotation marks because it's just because it feels bigger in my mind. It's not really because it's a bigger thing to manifest. Of course, the miracle says there's no order of difficulty in miracles. So it's not harder to manifest a big thing than a littler, littler thing, but we make it seem hard. So anyway, I was thinking about the things that appear to not have manifested yet. And I was really just getting in so much gratitude which you might be like, why are you grateful for it not manifesting yet? Where well, I'm gonna share that with you. So I was putting my hand over my heart and I just was feeling like, I'm really grateful that some of these things haven't manifested yet. And I, for me, you know, I was saying, thank you, God, thank you um, for helping me become the kind of person that can receive this. I said, I trust you. I know you're not holding things back from me. Oh, you can see my reflection in there. What's behind me? Oh, it's a window. <laughs> okay, anyway, I said, I trust you. I know you're not holding things back from me. I know you were waiting for me to be ready to receive them. So what I did was I took an inventory of all of the internal changes I've made this year in relationship to these bigger goals. And I was asking myself like, at the beginning of 2018 to now, like how do I feel, how I have, have I shifted? And what I felt into was, I mean, I already felt pretty great, honestly. <laughs> I think I'm pretty great, right? But there were so many shifts. And so the, you know, the worthiness and the feeling of deserving and the feeling of trust in myself and all of these pieces, I just started writing down, like how has my mindset shifted? How have my feelings shifted? How do I really feel? 
And what I realized was I'm tremendously, tremendously grateful because I have the internal state now that makes me ready to receive the things that I want and receive them gracefully and not sabotage. So the whole point of this is if you're focused on where's my man, why isn't he here, and you're feeling this negative energy towards yourself, towards the dating process, you're kind of missing the point. And all of that stops your manifesting. When you're complaining, why isn't he here yet? When you're complaining that it hasn't worked yet, when you're complaining about your current circumstances, when you're feeling like, oh my God, I'm never gonna meet him, or whatever it is, all the crazy limiting beliefs, when you're making it seem like this impossible thing, to manifest it, all that is missing the point. It's taking your energy away from the place that can actually shift, which is on the inside. So I say this to my clients a lot, and I want you to hear me on this. Desires manifest when they're an of course. In other words, your man desire, you know, the reason that you're doing this challenge, although some of you, I know, I see some of you even watching, you have your man, so you're doing the challenge just to up your energy with your man, which I think is also a fantastic idea. Um, but the majority of you, let's just say, um, out of the 1,500 plus women who are currently enrolled, probably like, I don't know, I'd say 100 maybe, or with their man. Um, so the majority of you, you're doing this to manifest your man. You're doing this because you want that person. But what you wanna ask yourself is, am I the person who can receive it and receive it well without sabotage, with feeling worthy, and actually being able to hold that relationship, meaning actually being able to grow it. So when I thought about how this year I've been prepared to receive those even bigger blessings, I felt grateful. I felt favored. I felt blessed because I felt like, wow, I'm so cared about by God, universe, whatever it is you know you believe in, but I'm so cared about that instead of getting the thing, I got the internal state that would allow me to get the thing. I mean, we all know the example of like child actors, for instance, and then they like make a bunch of money and have a bunch of fame and a lot of them go crazy, right? The reason is they weren't prepared to receive. The reason is they received a big manifestation, but they weren't prepared. And I see this happen even with some of my clients, even with some of my Get and Keep Your Man clients, the ones that <laughs> manifest their man, not all of them, but the ones that, that they're like, oh my God, I'm a month into the program and I manifested my man. And then we're working for six months to a year and not sabotaging. <laughs> it's still the same. It's still the inner work, you know? But here's the point. I was not sitting there whining and complaining, why haven't these bigger things manifested yet? Even though some of them, I've even talked to you guys about my manifestations or some of my clients. I was sitting there going, I'm so blessed, I'm so favored, that instead of getting the thing, I got the opportunity to be able to make myself ready for the thing. Because when you feel, of course I'd have this, I'm ready to have this, it's an of course I'd have this, that's when it appears. Or it appears before you feel that way and then you sabotage the shit out of it. So what I want you thinking about is this, because I'm saying I'm blessed to have received the opportunity, but I spot the opportunity, I see the opportunity, I see that if the manifestation isn't here yet, it's not a problem in the sense that there's something wrong with me and that's the reason I can't have it. Can you all please give that one up? Please, 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 please give that one up. Up. that one in particular. The reason I can't find my man is because there's just something wrong with me. There's nothing wrong with you. But you might have some beliefs to shift to get out of the way so you can actually believe in that bigger, again, it's bigger because you think it's bigger, bigger manifestation. There might be some things to heal within your heart in terms of like, we're gonna talk about this in one of the challenges, but if you're processing and filtering your love life through the wounded little girl, it's not gonna work, you know? <laughs> like, it's just not gonna work. So you might have to shift that, but it's not something wrong with you. Same thing with your energy. Like, if you are, um, like, let's say I was doing this video and I was just like, hmm, oh my, okay, um, so I have something to share with you guys and like, okay, I don't, you know, I don't really know if it's worth it or not, but like, maybe, maybe, 
maybe you'd like it. Do you like what I'm sharing? Do you like what I'm sharing? Oh my God, do you, do you value what I'm sharing? Is it good enough? Is it good enough? Is it good enough? You would click off the video, right? Because it's just not a confident energy. But does that mean there's something wrong with me? If I was in that particular state, I was in that state for a long part of my life. No, it just means I wouldn't have accessed the confidence within me yet, right? So when I talk about getting ready for your man, I like to use the concept love alignment because it's not about there being something wrong with you. It's about let's look practically at where are you at in your mindset? How are you thinking about love? If you want something that feels big, like an amazing epic top 1% man, what are you thinking? Are you thinking I can never find him? This kind of man doesn't exist. If he, I met him, he wouldn't want me, whatever, right? Are you thinking that or is your mindset believing? Remember, belief is independent of outside evidence. Then I like to look at your heart, okay? How is your heart? Is it open? Is it free? Is it free from the past? Is it free from the exes? Is it healed from your childhood? I'll give you a hint. I have yet to meet a woman ever. Um, oh, Tanya's saying you're by far the best love coach. Thank you so much, Tanya. It's true. Um, but I've yet to meet a woman ever in my whole history of life or career. <laughs> so pretty much every single woman ever that isn't filtering some of her life through the old childhood beliefs. That includes me. I still work on getting out of little girl mode sometimes and then shifting into um, empowered woman mode. It doesn't really happen so much in my love life anymore, but there are still other areas where I have to catch myself and go, okay, like that's my little girl mode, let me you know, shift. So you just wanna check in with that, right? And then your energy. Your energy is, as you know, if you've watched me, are you confident? Are you open? Are you attractive? You know, somebody posted, I think it was Jamie Dale posted, um, she made a comment and she said, I can't remember the exact words, but she was like, oh, Nicole, it feels like you're really letting the beauty of Nicole Moore out or something like that. I mean, it might be because I change my hair to blonde. I might change it back to brown in a little bit, or my hair extensions <laughs> to, to blonde. That's why I can change my hair all the time, you guys, because, you know, it's not like it's gonna damage my real hair. But anyway, um, she was saying, basically it sounded like she was saying I look more beautiful now. But if you think about it, my face hasn't changed. I mean, I have eyelash extensions, you guys. Um, but my face hasn't changed. But you know what I work on still? My goddess beauty secret, some of you have that, and um, my journaling and my manifesting. And one of the things that I actually journal on and focus on on a regular basis is that quality of looking beautiful because why not? I recommend you all do that, <laughs> it's super fun. But it's an energy thing, it's an energy thing. If you guys were to go back, I know like um, some of you guys, a lot of you guys are like, Nicole, you're the best love coach. If you were to go back and watch my very first YouTube video on my channel, you would see more of that like, mm, I don't know, do I have value kind of coach. And it's not that I wouldn't be worthy then, it's not that um, I wouldn't be amazing then, it's that you wouldn't necessarily think, oh, she's the best, because I'm not projecting that energy. So when you look practically at, there's nothing wrong with me, I am worthy to receive my man, but have I made myself ready? Because here's the thing, I'm sitting here in gratitude this morning, thanking God, saying, Thank you for not giving me the thing that I've been desiring, sometimes struggling over, um, yet, because it gave me the opportunity to become the woman who is ready. I'm sitting here in gratitude for that, which by the way is a high frequency, which will then speed the manifestation of what I want. But what I was thinking about and what I really wanna communicate to you is this. The reason that I feel ready now to receive those bigger manifestations is because I made myself ready. I didn't just let time pass doing the same damn thing over and over again, thinking that if time magically passed, somehow I'd be ready. I shifted my mindset to get my mind 100% believing that those things I want, they're real for me not someone else, for me. I looked within my heart to see, 
what am I processing this through my inner little girl? Can I heal? What do I need to shift? All of that. And I worked on my energy. So this whole time I've been aligning to the things I want. This whole time I've been using the time wisely. And a lot of women, they don't use the time wisely. We are at the end of the year, ladies. So I want you to do an inventory and check in. Have you used your time wisely? Now, please don't beat yourself up if you feel like you haven't, right? <laughs> but have you, there's a lot of things that I could have like used my time more wisely on. Like I bought a Peloton bike and I haven't used it as many times as I'd like <laughs> this year, right? Um, but have you used your time wisely? Meaning from now, I don't know what day it is, um, you know, today, <laughs> in the year, right? To the beginning of the year, have you focused on clearing the mindset stuff, clearing what's in the way? Or are you still thinking the same things you thought about your love life and men in the beginning of the year? If you're still thinking the same things, you are going to get the same thing. It doesn't matter if you make a vision board. How are you feeling in your heart? from now to the beginning of the year, okay? If you guys are my clients, I know you're nodding your head going, I'm feeling so different, I'm feeling so different. You're either with your man right now or you're nodding your head going, yes, I'm so glad I did this work, I'm so ready, I feel so different now, All right? That's not most women though. Most women are in the same place internally, not ready saying, it's another year, I really wanna meet my man, maybe I wanna have a baby, whatever, but they're in the same place internally. And it's like, with all the fierce, tough love in the world, I wanna let you know, if you haven't made yourself ready, it's not that the manifestation isn't coming because you're not worthy or there's some God or magical being or the universe is going, I don't think she's worthy of this, so I'm not gonna give her it. It's not that. It's actually kindness. It's actually favor. It's actually whatever force you believe in, even if it's yourself or your higher self going, no, honey, we gotta get you ready. It's kinda like, you know, imagine Beyonce in the very beginning of her career having to perform at the Super Bowl, even though she's Beyonce and she's like one of the most amazing performers out there. If it was at the beginning of her career and she had to perform at the Super Bowl, she probably would not, I don't know, she'd probably freak out. She wouldn't be able to do it. Or she might give a performance and it wouldn't be as great as what she's. My sister was calling me. I don't know if that stopped the video because she wouldn't be ready, right? So kind of use that analogy. It's like if somebody's gonna do something great, if somebody's gotta perform at the Super Bowl, if somebody's gonna do anything great in their life, there's, or you know, Olympics, whatever, there's preparation required. If you're gonna have the most amazing relationship of your life, better than you've ever had, better than most people have, or it seems out of the ordinary, it is out of the ordinary, there's preparation required. Uh, Ronak is saying inner work is so important. Yep, spoken like a true get and keep your man. <laughs> Lady, because you guys know, the women that are in my inner circle, they know that it's all about the inner work. So my point is this, do an inventory of from now to the beginning of the year. Have you been using your time wisely? Meaning has every day, not in some like crazy, clutching, freaking out way, but has every day been a day where you move yourself forward, where you make yourself more ready? Because if you do that, you are gonna be grateful even if the manifestation isn't here yet. But guess what? The gratitude of the manifestation not being here yet because you know you're ready is the thing that opens the path and makes you be ready. If you haven't watched the Ready for the One videos, watch those now because I have a video on mindset, I have a video on heart, I have a video on energy. That's where I explain even deeper these concepts of what I mean about being really, really, really ready. You have an opportunity now to look at what's remaining in the year, but also at the beginning of the year and then next year and go, who am I gonna be? Am I gonna be the woman who continues to complain about my love life and wish for something different, but not make myself ready and then feel this time pressure because I've let another year pass? 
where I didn't make myself ready. And then when it's not coming, default to the belief of, well, it just must not be meant for me. Are you gonna be the woman who chooses to do the inner work to make yourself ready so you get to the place where you feel like, of course I'd have this, and your mindset is aligned, and your heart is aligned, and your energy is aligned, and that's when you can get that great manifestation. So if you're Beyonce in the beginning of her career in your love life right now, then don't expect yourself to have the Super Bowl <laughs> level results but you can get there just like she got there, right? I mean, where I was at in the past before doing this work, I couldn't have had the relationship that I have now. It's not that I didn't want it, but I wasn't ready to receive it. I would have sabotaged it. I did sabotage a lot of relationships. So does anybody have any questions on this topic? I can't see, I see Tanya posted something, but I can't see the entire um, comment. I just see, I'm enjoying being single and don't feel lonely. I feel there's an abundance. I don't know how to see all the, I'm on my phone, you guys, so I don't know how to see. Ooh, I can bring people on camera. Goodness, I'm not gonna do that, Tanya, but I'm just trying to see your whole comment. Uh, I only can see up to, I feel that there's an abundance. Yeah, so if you enjoy being single and you don't feel lonely, that's a good step, right? Because basically you're saying there is no lack and I want more. And that's a really great place to manifest from. That's what I did this morning when I was meditating and journaling. Instead of feeling this sense of lack of like, oh, this hasn't manifested yet or blah, 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 blah. Um, because really, I mean, the goals that I have, it's not how do I put it. It's like expansion goals. It's like most people aren't gonna even probably create the goals that I have. Most people will not ever create that in their lifetime. <laughs> so I'm already starting from a good place going, but I wanna go so much higher, if you know what I mean. But I could still use the uh, parent gap as a reason to feel bad. So what I did this morning was I got myself to a place where I felt no lack because I realized I feel the way I feel the way before doing this inner work to get to this place, I assumed if I had the things, I would feel this way, but I feel that way now, so I'm full of that feeling, so there is no lack, so might as well have the things come in. Does that make sense? That's a big secret to manifestation. Maybe you should listen to that again. So I want you to watch the Ready for the One videos and I want to let you know if you did not see, I sent an email to only um, like a, uh, I shouldn't say a handful, probably like 200, 100 to 200 people who have purchased like, um, you know, digital products from us before, got the email, but no one else has. So we're opening up the doors again to get and keep your man home study with a coupon code for the holidays. It's not open yet or anything, you guys, but we do have a wait list if you wanna get on the, uh, the list for the coupon code for that to save $800 off. Click the link that I've included here and get on that. So um, Get and Keep Your Man is where I teach you all of this work of how to actually get aligned. Um, I mean, I'm sure some of my Get and Keep Your Man clients will probably post and tell you about how amazing the training and curriculum is because they always do that without me even asking them. So thank you, you guys. You guys are the best, but um, this is like the fast path to get there. And when I say fast path, please do not misunderstand that I'm trying to say that it's easy. <laughs> I'm not the love coach that lies to you and tells you like, there are three simple texts or tricks that you can do and you're gonna manifest the love of your life. I am not that coach. <laughs> I give you the real deal and I tell it to you straight, but I make it as easy as possible for you because I condense 10 years of my own studying, um, literally more than $400,000 worth of investing in myself, personal development wise. I mean, you name it, I've done it. And uh, of course, dedicated Course in Miracle Study. I condense all of that. It's like if somebody were to get a PhD in a topic and then go, here, here's all of the benefit of all of my life experience and years of learning packaged into very smartly laid out, easy to understand, 
uh, bite-sized chunks of information that anybody can follow to get to their result, which is the love of their life. That's what Get and Keep Your Man is. It took me a year to create all of the curriculum um, and all of the trainings. People say it's the most powerful training they've ever done. It gives them power for life, not just in manifesting your man, but in manifesting everything. So there's always like really cool side effects, like people manifesting money, changing their career, um, lots of cool things happen. But the bottom line is the main thing it will and would do for you is have you not waste your time? Have you not spent? Michelle saying so worth the investment. It really is. Like it, it really is. Sometimes when I think about it and I'm like, oh my God, like the amount that I've had to invest, not just money wise, like dollar dollar bills, you guys, but energy, thoughts, studying like to to create this curriculum it should be like a million dollar program and it's not that at all <laughs> not anything close you know what i mean but and the value that it gives you for life because it gives you the power to manifest everything in your life um so there's i mean this wasn't meant to be like a huge thing on get and keep your man you guys i really just wanted to let you know that the coupon code is available um if you want to sign up for that so when we release the coupon you can um, get the 800 dollars off discount but there's modules on manifesting that go even deeper like way 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 deeper there's um an entire month of training so three modules on healing your inner little girl there's modules on feminine loving communication there's modules on being a sex goddess i mean there's everything in there so um daniela saying posted a question for you hope you can peep it and answer it so just so you guys know um the giveaway is today as well uh, for man attraction boot camp which is another amazing program i don't know when the um deadline is francesca who is on my team she knows when the deadline is maybe she posted it um but you can tag francesca love works if you're looking for the deadline um so part of the giveaway was for you to ask me a question. I will be answering some of the questions on a and A. I cannot answer all of the questions, so we might do like a random question generator or I don't know what we're gonna do. Um, so I can't promise you anything, but we will be answering some of the Q&A on a future video. If you have questions about um, Get and Keep Your Man though, the home study version, or there is a live version happening, you guys, there's a live version happening right now that I'm teaching and I'm doing the Q&A in. Some of you guys are in that program. Um, and that one, like, how do I put this? It, that one doesn't really end until six months from now for some women. So that's happening. And then next year, um, Get and Keep Your Man Live will be happening. That's where you get um, live Q&A calls, a retreat with me, and private coaching with my Love Works coaches. That will be happening next year as well, but I won't be the one doing the Q&A. It will be one of my Love Works coaches. Um, so, all that to say, there's a lot of options for you to do the work, for you to get aligned, for you to speed up the path, for you to not be sitting here six months from now going, what did I really do in my love life and why has it not really changed and why have I not really manifested him in yet? You could just get the tools and the training to know that you're on the right path because you're following what I did and what hundreds of other women have done to find their man. All right, guys, so ask yourself, am I ready or not ready? And if I'm not ready, maybe I'm being favored and blessed to be able to get ready. So it's not a bad thing, but let me now focus on getting ready so I can receive the manifestation that I want. Sending you all lots of love and I'll see you in the group tomorrow for day four of the training announcing day two of the giveaway. Bye ladies.